hey everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Opsi. thank you guys for tuning in once again so by the title of this video you already know what i'm about to share with you guys today we're going to be talking about leather fragrances and i decided to do this video because i actually realized that a couple of or a lot of fragrances that i own actually are leather fragrances i mean i would say i love leather but it didn't actually dawn on me until i realized that a lot of fragrances that i was gravitating towards were actually leather fragrances so i decided to bring all the fragrances together to share with you guys i have tried to check out other videos on youtube to see if there are other leather fragrances that i do not know and i would like to try out or test out and i have seen a couple of them that are very very brand new to my ears of course i don't own all leather fragrances but i'm going to show you guys the ones i have here there are quite a number of them more than 10 fragrances in this video anyways without further ado let's get right into the video so the first two fragrances i'm going to show you here they are both travel size fragrances they are from the house of Nemo Paris this is how the travel size comes it comes in this little pouch and then inside the box um, so yeah this one is African leather I have heard a lot about African leather so if you know Mimo Paris Mimo Paris is a brand that literally plays with the leather notes like they have so many leather fragrances Iberian leather Irish leather but African leather for me is a very beautiful musky soft Swedish cardamom fragrance which actually plays well with the leather notes in this one it's not so strong which is why i really like it it's a very nice fresh aromatic swedish musky like you can hardly tell that there's leather here until the dry down so if you're not really a fan of leather you might actually like this one because the leather notes in this one is not extremely pronounced it is such a beautiful fragrance and if you don't want to break the bank to buy the mimo paris i do have a dupe for you guys i actually discovered this through a friend in Nigeria. This is called Afro Leather by Maison Alhambra. This is what it looks like. Very, very similar to the original bottle. I'm going to be honest with you. It has at least a 90% similarity. Only that this one opens up a little bit fresher than the original. So the opening note of this one is not as strong and dense and potent as the original one. But the dry down is literally the same thing. Like you can hardly tell that this is Afro leather. It has literally the same notes in them. Only that this one is just obviously stronger and projects way more but then if you don't want to break the bank this is very affordable this is afro leather by maison alhambra i'm going to leave um the names of the fragrances in the description box just so that you guys actually know the fragrance i'm talking about so yeah african leather afro leather they are both beautiful leather fragrances the other mimo paris fragrance i'm going to be talking about is irish leather so when it comes to the leather fragrances from mimo paris irish leather was literally the first fragrance that actually stood out to me irish leather is such a bossy scent this scent last the whole day the reason i got the travel size again is because i just felt that I just need a travel size i don't need the full bottle but honestly i think i don't need a full bottle so irish leather is very spicy green it has notes of juniper berries in this one it has some green notes in this one it also has a bit of amber i believe but it's so spicy it's such as like honestly if you're not careful you cannot even tell that there is leather in this one again so different so spicy i think for me most of the time with more paris what sells me out or what grabs my attention is a dry down i literally sprayed this on a, a paper and i slept all night and all i could smell was irish leather this is a must have if you're a guy i think that this perfume is a staple in every man's wardrobe you can never ever go wrong with irish leather huge projection huge seared very long lasting huge great performance i cannot tell you anything less about this fragrance even if you're going to layer this with other fragrances in your collection i'm telling you this is going to overshadow them just because of how potent and how long lasting it is highly highly recommend this for a guy irish leather is literally the bomb okay so the next fragrance i'm going to show you guys here is from pen Halligons actually and this is not the actual one i want to show you guys i I would put a picture on the screen the one i actually want to show you guys in this video is called how fetty leather but this is how fetty cedar now how fetty leather is a very very nice rose and oud fragrance with leather notes in there with saffron with labdanum actually how fetty leather was the very first fragrance that i ever tried and that has been on my wish list for the longest of time up until i came in contact with how fetty cedar how fetty cedar doesn't have leather notes in it cedar rather smells very boozy 
rosy cinnamony spicy so halfetti leather is basically a very beautiful rose and oat scent with leather and some extra spicy notes in there it's such a stunning scent honestly if i do say so myself i absolutely love that fragrance and if you have not gotten your hands on it i think it is one for the books i actually prefer halfetti leather to the original halfetti i know everybody likes the original halfetti but for me i absolutely love halfetti leather and i think that if you want to try a leather fragrance and you don't know which one to go for try halfetti leather is a very very stunning fragrance the next one here i don't have a full bottle of this fragrance i just had a six is it six ml six ml and it's almost done actually so this is falcon leather from matia premier so if you know matia premier you already know that they are based mode long lasting and very very potent this one has notes of beige birch <laughs> birch tar which actually is the notes that forms the leather vibe of this fragrance so there's no actual leather notes in this or leather accord it's more of the beach tar Ber i hope i'm pronouncing this thing well it's more of the birch tar that actually makes the fragrance smell like leather it also has saffron it has labdanum it's a very beautiful scent there's nobody that i recommend falcon leather to that doesn't get compliment when i say huge compliment magnet falcon leather will get all the girls rolling flocking and asking for your number literally i highly recommend falcon leather it's not a very strong off-putting leather animalic note it's very wearable very pleasing most of all of the fragrances i'm going to show you in this video are very wearable so they are not the very stinky animalic woody kind of fragrances no these are the ones that are very very pleasing crowd pleasing very nose appealing very potent as well don't be afraid of any of these leather fragrances i'm putting you guys on the good ones so yeah falcon leather is definitely one i would recommend in fact any material premier fragrance is literally a must have but falcon leather i'm telling you people will follow you they'll run and chase you down the street and stop you to ask you what you're wearing that's the effect of falcon leather so the next one i have here is purple suede from goldfield this thing is always making me bite my tongue goldfield and banks so this is an australian brand and this is called purple suede i spoke about this fragrance in my previous fragrance video i think for men and when i say purple suede is such a luxurious leather fragrance this is sort of sort of kind of reminiscent to tom ford tuscan leather or ombre leather some people say tuscan leather some people say ombre leather i do get the vibe and similarity but for me this is much better in my opinion this is very wearable this is very pleasing this is very luxurious very long lasting this projects people are going to smell you it has a very huge projection and a great sillage i get 12 hours plus from this particular one so this this is basically a very nice soft lavender pink pepper and leather fragrance it is a very stunning fragrance very wearable it also has wood and patchouli in the dry down and amber as well so it even makes it sweet and very cozy and warm i absolutely adore this one this one was love at first sniff like once i smelt it in the store i literally said i need that literally if you are a fan of leather and maybe you like tuscan leather or ombre leather but you want a little bit of twist check out purple suede it is the perfect twist of tuscan leather the perfect twist of ombre leather it just screams luxury that's what i get from this one and again the bottle is very gorgeous i highly highly recommend you know me no video is ever complete if i do not include a zara fragrance so this is true leather from zara now nobody has spoken about this fragrance in the longest and longest of time i feel like once the hype came Came and it died down in 2020 like nobody was really talking about true leather everybody just focused on rose gourmand and red temptation but have you smelled true leather in fact you can't even tell from the whole collection true leather was the only one that really stood out to me it's the one fragrance that i felt was very long lasting it's the one fragrance that i felt was very unique and very potent very different from a typical zara fragrance this is supposed to be a dupe for tuscan leather but in my opinion i feel like it's different this is sweet this is fresh this has bergamot this has iron in it this is gorgeous so if you like something soft something fresh a little bit powdery then try out true leather again you don't want to break the bank true leather is definitely your best bet when you spray this thing nobody is going to believe that it's a zara fragrance literally true leather i believe is one fragrance that a lot of people have slept on and are still sleeping on now i don't know if it's still in stores to be honest i haven't seen them in stores in forever so they are probably even sold out everywhere but if you have this fragrance in your collection if you were lucky enough to buy this fragrance when it was released this is definitely a gem you can always use this fragrance to layer other fragrances
artist in your collection it's like the red temptations and the rose command and this will give it a very nice fresh and strong base to you know complement the roses and the floral notes in the other fragrances so still keeping it in the zara family we have leather jardin here so this has notes of grapefruit rose and leather now this is a very very spicy this is very spicy it's a very fresh almost fizzy in my opinion it's giving me that like bubbly champagne vibe but i guess because of the grapefruit very different this fragrance i used for a very long time this was once my workwear fragrance like my signature scent literally this actually sends me back to 2021 because i believe that's when i got it this now for me is a little bit powdery which is why i stopped wearing it because i'm not really a fan of powdery scents but i'm getting a little bit of powderiness in the dry down but it is still a stunner it's still a very gorgeous scent that people are not talking about i mean it is very very long lasting it projects it smells very unique very different from anything i have here if they are still in stores i'm not really sure again check online check the app zara app or check in stores you might actually be lucky to find leather jardin my next fragrance here is ombre nomad i'm not sure if i've spoken about ombre nomad on this channel but ombre nomad honey i can't lie i know that lv fragrances are a little bit overpriced a little bit they're very overpriced but i have to be very honest with you guys ombre nomad is one fragrance that i have not been able to get a perfect dupe of there is no fragrance that smells like this it's not a beast mode scent i don't see this or consider this a beast mode fragrance but honestly ombre nomad is a very unique fragrance whoever did this fragrance the perfumer was really onto something when he did this fragrance there's oud there's benzoin there's raspberry a little bit of fruitiness in there which makes it smell very amazing there is absolutely no time i've worn this fragrance and i did not get compliments it is a stunner so it has that leathery vibe a little bit spicy there's also incense in here as well so it gives off that very spicy vibe but it definitely smells leathery now i don't know what notes makes it smell like that because when i checked there was no leather in it but it definitely is a leathery fragrance so it's a spicy leathery fragrance with hints of raspberry this is like a classic gentleman scent or a boss babe scent you're gonna get compliments for sure if you don't mind to splurge i highly recommend this one bond perfumer 603 of course i don't hear people talk about this fragrance so i'm always gonna speak about it because it is very very beautiful very artistic as well i don't think i have smelled anything like this yet um so bone perfumer is again a leather fragrance that has tonka bean and incense in them incense is totally my vibe leather is my vibe as you can tell by all the fragrances i've shown you guys here but i like this one because there's a twist with the tonka bean in the dry note it makes it very creamy very warm not off-putting the only twist here is the tonka bean and the incense so it's giving off that very spicy incensey vibe this is not for everybody i totally understand if people do not like it but if you don't mind incense in your fragrances if you like a bit of spiciness in your fragrances and you don't mind it to be a little bit creamy or warm or cozy in the dry down then i highly recommend this one because this is actually very gorgeous very different almost smoky as well you can always use this to layer other nice floral fruity fragrances just to give it a little bit of twist so yeah born perfumer 603 is definitely one that i highly recommend if you like leather and incense the next fragrance i have here is called under the stars and this is basically an oud and leather fragrance now this fragrance is such a stunning fragrance it's so stunning that it doesn't like to be mixed with any other fragrance i have tried mixing this fragrance with so many other fragrances in my collection but it doesn't seem to work out so this has obviously oud in here it has has leather in here it has labdanum it has a little bit of pink pepper as well it also has black pepper and cinnamon so it's a spicy woody leathery fragrance this is very very unique very different it is very long lasting extremely long lasting i get more than 12 hours wear from this particular one so i highly recommend if you haven't tried under the stars it is actually a very stunning one and it's a leather fragrance but it's not an off-putting leather because it's mixed with the wood and other 
spicy notes in there is definitely an all well-rounded fragrance if that makes sense this thing actually cut so this is my second time recording this part of the video so this is santa royale from guerlain santa royale is such a stunning scent i remember when i wore this the very first time i was gifted this fragrance actually years and years ago this was one of my first niche fragrance well it's not a niche fragrance it's a designer scent but from the private collection this is santa royale from guerlain this has notes of oud musk it has amber in there it's a very spicy scent it has jasmine which is absolutely my favorite floral note also has a bit of rose in there as well very very gorgeous scent it has leather of course in the dry down you can definitely tell that the leather and the oud and the other floral notes are just complementing each other in a very gorgeous and beautiful way huge projection as well this is actually a very strong fragrance and that's why i haven't reached out for this one in a very long time a little goes a long way but if you're like me that likes to overspray their fragrances i don't mind i will overspray this baby because it's such a beautiful scent and it definitely lasts very very long so like i said there's oud here there's leather here there's musk there's amber there's jasmine so all of these notes combined together just makes this beautiful baby and i'm telling you a huge compliment getter as well i'm sure a lot of people have smelled this or have tried this before but i think that the hype has died down this is a reminder that you should go back and try this fragrance still in the guerlain family we have musk noble musk noble is a very clean sophisticated leather fragrance so this has notes of saffron musk labdanum it definitely has leather in there which actually brings out the luxurious or luxury feel of this fragrance so it is very sophisticated very clean but then the leather note and the labdanum i believe actually gives this fragrance a twist so if you're not a fan of like pure musk fragrances or whatever then you should definitely try this one because it's not so strong but then it's very present and prominent a very good signature scent as well perfect for the cooler season as well but i wear this every time because this is actually a beautiful scent so if you want that feminine energy with an edge this is the one for you musk noble from Quellen. la capital is my baby and allow me to include it in this one so la capital is a very fruity caramelly sweet fragrance with notes of leather as well it has raspberry it has caramel it has peach it is a very nice gourmand scent but then the leather notes just keep seeping through in the dry down not in a harsh way not in an overpowering way just in a very well soft and sophisticated manner i mean you can tell i feel like this fragrance is a fragrance that will always be in my collection oh my god this is such a beautiful scent a perfect date night scent a perfect workwear scent you can wear this anywhere to brunch on a date for work it's very very classy and i like that the leather note actually gives it a little bit of twist so it doesn't let it be that extremely sweet and fruity vibe the leather note gives it an edge and that's what i always look for in my fragrances i like sweetness that is complemented with a bit of oud incense leather Leather. i definitely had to include la capital in this one for those people that don't want something that is very strong they don't want a very strong leather note present in their fragrances i think that la capital is the best best because you can hardly tell that there's leather except you pay attention to the you know transitions and how it changes on your skin so the last fragrance i have here is called Bo <laughs> Honestly, yeah, I can't even really lie. I don't know what I was thinking when I bought this fragrance, but Bouvre de Vent is from Liquid Imaginaire. So this is my first Liquid Imaginaire. Obviously, everybody knows the Blanche better from Imaginaire, Liquid Imaginaire. And I absolutely love that one. It's such a stunning, milky fragrance. To be honest, every fragrance from this house is a stunner. I need every bottle from this house. This one, on the other hand, is, oh my God, leather done in a very sophisticated, sexy manner. Know that I'm saying this thing with all of my heart because I absolutely love this one. This and Ombre Nomad, oh my god, sign me up complement each other i mean they have the same vibe the same vibe that ombre nomad gives me is the same vibe that this gives me not a base mode scent but you can definitely smell me you can definitely tell that this fragrance is very potent very long lasting huge sear you're going to leave scent trails everywhere you go actually somebody put me on this one um a dose of e put me on this one and i actually buy and bought it like this is very surprising because there are some fragrances that just don't you know hurry to buy but i don't know for some 
reason i just trusted in this fragrance and it definitely did not fail me i'm so happy that this is part of my collection this is definitely my boss babe fragrance if you haven't tried out this fragrance i highly recommend that you do it's actually a very stunning scent and i'm so glad that i pulled the plug on this one so these are all the leather fragrances i have to show you guys today obviously there are other good ones in the market for me it was just a note that i was gravitating towards i didn't even know how much love i had for leather fragrances so yeah i'm happy i did this video and i hope you guys love this video let me know your thoughts in the comment section do you have any other leather fragrances that you love that i haven't included in this video i would really really love to try and i would like to hear your recommendations thank you guys for watching this video if you're new to my channel please do not leave without hitting the subscribe button like this video as usual and share it to your friends and your loved ones and i'm going to see you guys in my next one bye guys Thank you.